What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network with a reading of the Zero Link Bitcoin Fungibility Framework. Today, the last chapter, a Zero Link Compliance Checklist. And this concludes of several different wallets, for example, the Samurai Wallet, the Stratus Breeze Wallet, and the Hidden Wallet. And then further has here all the different categories. Retrieving transaction information is a basic requirement, which is opt-in with the Samurai and working with Stratus and Hidden Wallet. Coin selection is basic uh, requirement and only by default strongly discourages ge change generation and input joining in the hidden wallet. Transaction broadcasting is done over Tor, um, opt-in with Samurai, and it is always done in hidden wallet. Transaction broadcasting uniformity is not done by any full node, by any of these wallets. Spending unconfirmed transaction is done by all three wallets and Change script public key is done by Samurai and Hidden Wallet. A active script pub key is done by all wallets. And a output indexing, uh, the random uniformity aspect here, is not done by Samurai, but is done by Stratus and by Hidden Wallet. Fee, exchange, fee rate estimation is not done in a sufficient matter of all these. And fee calculation neither. Replaced by fee is possible by default and doable by both Stratus and Hidden Wallet. Optionally doable. Popular Bitcoin wallets and in general. Here we have Electrum, Bitcoin QT, Conbase, Blockchain.info, and Mycelium. And here, similar again, uh, Electrum is retrieving transaction information opt in over the trusted Electrum server. Bitcoin QT is doing that, and the others suck. Coin selection is opt-in coin control features for Electrum and opt-in coin control features for Bitcoin QT as well. Coinbase, Blockchain.info, and Mycelium as usual suck. Transaction broadcasting is, of course, basic, but done opt-in over Tor for both Electrum and Bitcoin QT, and same with Mycelium. Transaction broadcasting, not done in a good way for all of these. Spending unconfirmed transactions, unknown for all of these. Change script pub key uh, is only done by Mycelium, the same with active script pub key. Output indexing is done in the deterministic way for all these wallets. Fee rate estimations and fee calculation is also not uh, good for all these wallets. And replace by fee is done by default for both Electrum and Bitcoin QT and unknown for the other wallets. So what we see here clearly is that the current wallet landscape is far, far from optimal. And although here Hidden Wallet has most of these characteristics, I would even argue that the amazing Wasabi Wallet has even more of these characteristics. Wasabi Wallet is a wallet that implements specifically this zero link framework and does so, in my opinion, in a superb fashion. The charming coin join, of course, works like a charm. Liquidity is rather decent with on average five to seven rounds per day. And the coin selection uh, tool uh, is superb. So Wasabi Wallet is really, really interesting. And though further, the Samurai Wallet uh, provides a opportunity of doing a Whirlpool transaction, which is also a uh, a implementation of the zero link framework and further it has as described here the paynim uh, feature for reusable stealth address payment codes and that is really nice to know so peers as always thank you very much for joining me here and we have finished up the bitcoin oh white screen here we go. We have finished up the Zero Link Bitcoin Fungibility Framework, a milestone, a true milestone in the application of privacy preserving technologies in Bitcoin. And thank you for sticking through this. Thank you for getting educated and accumulating this knowledge. I hope you understood some of it, if probably not all of it, because neither I have understood everything in there. Uh, but still, accumulating the information and trying to understand it is all that we can do for now. Important though is further to act upon this information. So go out there and use the Wasabi wallet, use the Samurai wallet and reclaim your privacy. Pierce, as always, thank you very much for joining me and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.